In some schools, Google AI is already part of the curriculum. Miami-Dade has partnered with Google, offering the company's Gemini AI to high school students. And now the world's third largest tech company wants to be an even closer study buddy by replacing those textbooks and those backpacks. This is Learn Your Way. It's an experiment from Google Labs that can turn educational text into an interactive experience. First, students select their grade level. Next, they upload a PDF of the textbook they're learning from. Once uploaded, the text will look very familiar to anyone who's hit the books before. Lots and lots of content, perhaps some bolded words. But with a click of a button, it takes that chapter and it breaks it down into manageable chunks. And if you're an audio first kind of learner, audio lesson tries to simulate a real interaction between a teacher and student. Can you think of another example of a reflex? Um, maybe when the doctor taps your knee with that little hammer. And let's say you prefer to visualize. It's generating this image to illustrate the concept of instincts. Google says so far the results are promising. In a Google-funded study of 60 teenage students in the Chicago area, those who studied a lesson using Learn Your Way scored 9% higher on a test after the study session compared to those who studied off a plain old PDF document. The Learn Your Way group also had higher retention of information in the days following the test. But a lot of educators are skeptical of AI in their classrooms. A study published in October by the nonprofit Center for Democracy and Technology found more than 70% of teachers say they worry that AI weakens key skill sets like reading and critical thinking. Then there are the issues raised in uploading books and documents. Are there any copyright concerns when it comes to turning textbooks that are intellectual property into PDFs and then uploading it to your servers? We really try to make sure for the purposes of the demo that we have um, materials and chapters that are open sourced and easily accessible by all. And Google says that with any generative content, there is always the possibility of hallucination. For now, it's still an experiment that anyone can take part in, with a lot of the features being rolled into Gemini and Google Classroom. As for the future of those heavy textbooks? The textbooks aren't going away anytime soon. We still need them. This is just to augment students and make sure that they can learn in new and in exciting ways. We thank you for watching and remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.